expecting to hear about the search warrant which was executed at the trailer where uh, of the defendant's home, basically. And there they find in the dryer shoes that possibly match, a knife with a broken blade in a dryer, and the orange sweatshirt that is uh, very visible on the surveillance video at RJR during the commission of these murders. It could be game, set, match by the end of the day. Well, Ted, everybody dries their broken knives, right? I mean, what, <laughs> what's the big deal there? <laughs> no, you're right, absolutely. Uh, the, you know, the, the search warrant and the items that are found in the house, along with this overwhelming smell of bleach on all of those items, uh, does seem to, um, you know, maybe this is why the defense isn't going all out on this cross-examination, it does seem to uh, hammer in all of the nails on this prosecution in terms of tying Mr. Isaacs to this murder, the color of of the clothes he was wearing, the camouflage mask. Because remember, witnesses, you see him in two different ways. You see him with an orange mask, and then you see him with a camouflage mask. Well, guess what Mr. Isaacs has in his house? A camouflage orange mask that's reversible. So, you know, the fact that he changed it out in the uh, community in order to maybe conceal himself isn't going to do much good when you have that mask in, in your house. So um, I, I agree with you. Uh, this is just um, the it, it's just moving right along. I mean, the prosecution's opening statement really didn't tell us about all the evidence. They, they basically said these are the stages of the trial you're going to hear. But you were left with, OK, what's the evidence? But, of course, we know the background, and I think that it's going to be pretty damning here. Yeah, absolutely. A judge on the bench now, they're bringing the jury in. Again, we're expecting more of the testimony, um, law enforcement testimony, to resume here, and specifically the fruits of that search warrant, which um, were significant, also found at the defendant's home, according to documentation pretrial, some shells hidden in a sock. Um, uh, another piece of this puzzle the prosecutors are putting together. And the defendant who, um, you see him there standing at the end there. Uh, he's sitting down. He's been participating in his defense. Well, let's go in. Here we go.